Hello guys and welcome back to what we are what game are we on? Kingdom Come Deliverance. I uh, hope you guys are well. So we are back on the standard Henry quest. We've done the Woman's Lock DLC now. We've done the Band of Bastards DLC. I think that's probably it with DLCs, possibly. Um, but for now, I think we can carry on with Henry. So there's a quest tipster. We're in Sasau. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but there's a quest tipster here. So I plan to do all the quests, by the way. Um, all the side quests, or if I can. Anyway, innkeeper. I am at your service, Sir Knight. Thank you. Does anyone here need help? Are there any problems around here I might be able to help with? Well, depends what you're willing to do. There was one troublemaker around here not long ago. We dealt with him. He was selling some relics he claimed were miraculous. It was nothing but worthless trinkets. The villagers sent the bloody swindler packing so fast you couldn't see his heels for dust. All the way to Ledechko, I believe. I reckon he won't last long there either. That's all I can think of. Okay, was that it? Are there any problems around here I might be able to help with? Nothing I've heard about. Thank the good Lord. It's quiet here. See you later. Alright, so has he told us for quest? <laughs> Quest giver. Right, there's a quest giver over here. Um, let's go and pop over there. Charlatan. Solari, sausages, meat ah, I know shapes, you. We do know, know him. Somewhere. Woman's lot. He was a... Where do I know you from? Skelet. Is it Skelet? Of course. My dream. You were in a boat made of bone. Salami. And I put a crown of thorns on your head. Did we see him? Um, was this was it Scalet? I'm thinking of the starting area um, as Teresa, and he was praying outside Scalet's. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, tell me about your dream. All right. Tell me about this dream of yours. That dream. Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice, my own pupil in the trade of miracles. Uh, me? You can't be serious. Then I'm in luck. Oh, then I'm in luck. On the contrary, I'm the lucky one. What's your name, young man? Oh. Good man. Good wife. Henry. Henry. Don't be shy. Hmm. You'll never a powerful a name. So. Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? Yeah, uh, okay. I'll become your apprentice. Um, who are you? What does it entail? I won't be your apprentice. Well, well who are you, for a start? First, tell me. Who are you, and what do you do? Me? I am an unworthy, low, and miserable servant of Providence. Scholar or merchant? Believer or heathen? I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon, offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon, providing the miracles that people need. Ointments, relics, aromatic herbs, oh God. rare spices, talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. I'm finding it hard to concentrate on what he's saying because I got one woman beside me saying asparagus, asparagus. I got another woman saying cucumbers. Oh, all right. Uh, okay, I'll become your apprentice. <laughs> all right, I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful. Oh, glorious day. I have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test. Of your practical skills. Oh. I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. I'll get them. Um, go on. I am a thief. Go on. First. I need a tooth of Saint Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman. For luck, I'm a passionate player. Bloody hell, that's a lot. 
All right. One thing at a time. I'm laughing because I just can't hear what he's saying. These bloody women selling their vegetables. Green cabbage. 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 Green cabbage. Oh, God. Okay, so about this tooth. About that tooth. It's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. Oh. I'm listening. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery, and it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I found out he has a sick tooth. Okay. Uh, how do you know he has a, a sore tooth? How did you find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, he told me at the tavern. But that's not important. Okay, um, so how do I get the tooth from him then? And how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the Good faintest men. idea. Good wives. You'll have to have think of something. Don't be shy. Aaron, but maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Okay, so we have to persuade him to get the blacksmith to pull it. Okay, uh, very well. Um, is that, is that swindling? That swindling people. It is, and it isn't. If I sell that tooth as the tooth of Saint Procopius, then it certainly is deceitful. But if I sell it as a tooth from Procopius of Sassau, then I'm cheating nobody. Okay, fine. Does it really matter whose tooth I bring then? Of course it does. The name Procopius in this holy land is shrouded with mystical power. Sometimes I might play a trivial trick on someone, but I assure you, I'm no swindler. Okay, very well. I'll get it. I'll get it from him. Wonderful. Okay, so acquire layman Procopius's tooth. Um, what's the topping out? This topping out? What's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. Garlic, I onions, see. Mushrooms, well, a topping Come out right is a decorated to spruce to or a conifer Meat, tree bun, hung bill, on bill, top of the sugar. roof of a new house. Okay. Bring good fortune and God's blessing. Okay, we can make our own, yeah. Good good idea, Henry. Um, and all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere, buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. Very clever boy. You don't understand, young man. Cucumber, the topping out was cucumber, sanctified by a priest, and it fruit. hangs on the highest Mate, church far and wide. And fresh. You can't just from replace it with a decorated branch. It all Fair tastes enough. delicious. Oh, I wish we'd talked to this guy away from these bloody women. women. Um, okay, how am I supposed to get it down? That topping off is hung pretty high, right, isn't it? For the Naturally. For the it hangs on the rooftop the according to tradition. And the church and is tall. And how am I supposed to get it down? Bow and arrow? Yeah, I know. But they had to get it up there somehow, didn't they? Okay, well, we'll, we'll get it. So we got, we got a tooth and we got a branch. Very well. From okay. a new house. Uh, get a branch from the topping from the topping out. Okay, so where can I find the prayers? Sorry, the player's talisman. This player's talisman. Where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. Okay, can we just um, pit pocket him? Maybe. Isn't it? Isn't it supposed to be a rabbit's paw? A cat's paw. Yeah, that's I true. Players bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so too, but this man is winning one game after another, so, so long cats are so clearly so even more powerful than rabbits. Oh. Mouth water more than the well, okay, well, I reckon we can probably just pickpocket him, so uh, I'll get it. Very well, I'll get you the paw. Right, okay, I'll go and look for those I'll things. I'll looking for those things then. Excellent! You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. Cucumbers. All right. Stay firm all winter. Okay. Fight before someone else does. You haven't got oh, any cucumbers. Hey, You're lying. <laughs> anyway, it's quite nice. I was going to say it's quite nice doing like a normal quest again, but it's not really normal, is it? Okay, here we are in Sasso. So I think we might as well get the cat's paw talisman. So I guess we can pickpocket him. Uh, let's do that first. Right, here's the, here's the chap here. We could leave it till it's night time. But what sort of fun is that?
Oh my god. Let's grab a stuff anyway. Ooh. I think that's just, that's it. Also grab everything. What in God's name is he up to? Nothing. So we did that and no one noticed. Because <laughs> like uh, sorry, I'm being a ghost. So we got a few dice off him as well. So we uh, we nabbed two, sorry, three odd die from him. Uh, to go along with our already two odd dice, or die, uh, which would be nice. We've got five odd die now. Brilliant. Lovely. Uh, so the next stage, we might as well go and get this uh, layman's, acquire layman Procopius's tooth just up here. So let's do that. Looking for a job. You talking to? Right, we're here. Um, Procopius. Oh, we know him, don't we? I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Maybe not. He's got the same face as um, some we've met before. I'm sure we have. Your tooth must hurt. It doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? Looking for a job? Um, I'm a physician. Start a fight. <laughs> as a practitioner of the healing arts, I recognize the signs of a sick tooth. You have a bloated face, you're sweating, and the way you breathe is absolutely typical of the condition. You're a physician? Looking for Isn't a that what I said? And if I can give you some advice, you should have it removed. There's a blacksmith down in the town. No, no, no. There's no way I'm putting myself in the hands of that butcher. But I understand. But look here. I know about healing. I can go along with you and make sure everything goes as it should. You do that? Of course. Looking for a Jesus job. Christ. Who's saying that? I'm a grown man and I need an escort. I know, it's pretty bad, isn't it? You don't have it? to be embarrassed. Pretty lame. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so. Let's go then and get this over with. Lee, who's saying that want a job? Is it you? Farm hands, is he, is he got a job for us? I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. No, end dialogue. <laughs> right, let's go and um, lead Procopius into a blacksmith. He looks like he's going on his own. Um, okay. So we just got to walk with him then, do we? I guess... Uh, Jesus, it's going to be really painful, isn't it? Nah, it's not going to be that bad. What they're going to do, they're going to tie a string. This is what they used to do in the olden days. They used to tie a string to your tooth. Come on. And then stick, and then tie the string to the door, and then slam the door shut. All right, we go in then. Don't worry, it will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so. I said that to my boy. I said, I said, look, if you don't brush your teeth, they'll start to hurt, and you'll get holes in your teeth, and we'll have to tie some string to your teeth, and then string, uh, tie it to the door, and slam the door shut. And he's like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know. Isn't that a waste of time? Maybe it'll go away on its own. No, it won't do. It won't. It won't. Are you mad? It won't go away. It'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. Come on, don't be, don't be scared. Don't be a chicken. Look, I, I can't. You it's can. embarrassing. I'm a coward and I won't be able to handle it. You'll be all right. Come on. Almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Hold him tight. Let's do it. <laughs> ah, look. Jesus it's Christ. out. The agony. Hey, want to keep it as what a memento? I, I love it. This? Oh. All right. Ah, oh, I, I just can imagine him with a pair of pliers, prizing that to say, "Oh, okay." Last but not least, let's get a branch from the topping out. Right, I think that might be it over there, maybe. So I'm wondering if we can get the bow and arrow out. We'll try it. Give it a go. 
Oh, here we go. That was easy enough. All right, so we got all three items now. Let's go back to the charlatan. Oh, God, he hasn't moved. He's still with his women. Oi, charlatan. What do you need? I'll have your stuff, mate. Give him the items. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splend! Splend! So, show me what you've got. Tuff. The tooth of Layman Procopius, which definitely isn't Our holy. It isn't. Good on but then again, the one day Come it could it, be. People, you never know what course a man's life might take. Joy to taste. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now. Don't exaggerate. Oh, we got five bandages. Lovely. Yeah, just what we needed. Um, we got the talisman. The the uh, rabbit's foot. No, the cat's. No, the cat's poor. Right One cat poor for luck. Fixed for your eyes and your Marvelous. It's hard Let's to just resist. hope it brings You're us not luck as well. And we got a branch from, from a topping out. A branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent. And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. From the yard or from the woods. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. So we got all that sorted out. Okay. And now the next. Oh, it's more more tasks, is there? Uh, okay. Go on. I'm shaking with anticipation. <laughs> There's oh. one more thing. It's rather complicated. Sausages, meat of all what shapes, thing? sizes, and flavors. A shrub. A shroud? Yes. A burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. Okay. You want me to take a dead person's clothes? I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes? Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. Uh, does it matter who I take it from? And does it matter who I take it from? It needs to be someone who lived an honest life. And I have just the fellow, a good man by the name of Lokota, who recently okay. passed on. Right. So where can I find him? His family is waiting for the Salami, funeral. Sausages, for now he's lying in a small church in Sasa. Okay, so who was this chap? And who was this Lokota? I know only a little, but according to the locals, he was an honourable man. You should certainly try to ask around. Okay, fine. Take care. Right, okay, we need to ask the local folk what sort of uh, guy this was. Maybe he knows. Problems with stomach ulcers? Who's the man who just died? Who's the man who died? The one who's lying world. in the church. From the oh, that was old Locot. He was a respectable fellow. I never cared much for that how did he make a living? What do you reckon he was? A baker, maybe? And how did he make a living? He was a butcher of some renown in the region. In the temple of Jerusalem. Was he far? Was he a local? Oh no. He came here from Vlashim because of an argument with his brother. We weren't too keen on him at first. His trade took customers away from our old butcher, you see. But we soon realized he was a decent man and we all grew to love him. What about his family? Sad loss. What about his family? His wife Lucy passed away a long time ago. Poor soul. Yeah. He was never the same since then. He never laughed from the heart anymore. But he's left two sons behind, Peter and Mark. Okay. So about his sons. What are his sons like? Oh, they're sturdy men. Sturdy and straightforward. Mind you, Peter doesn't have any sense of humor that you'd notice. He takes everything as seriously as a sermon. Mark's a more open sort and a little superstitious, but don't make fun of him. Okay, that's all I need. Thank you very Thank much. You. That's all I needed to know. Right, okay, so I've asked quite a few people. They've always they've all given me like the same answers. Old Lokota. So it's pointing me now towards the church and it's saying um optional, I can get the option to get the burial shroud. So Okay. Oh, 
Right, okay. It's, uh... Hello, sir. Oh! Well, I never... What are you doing here? Why am I not allowed in the church anymore? I used to be able to. <laughs> uh, can I come in? Can I, if I if I pay something. Yeah, can I talk to you? Can I come in? Oh, it's Peter. It's his son. Good God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? No, they didn't attack me. Um, my condolences, your father. My condolences. Thank oh, there you. he is. There, look. You see him? Uh, I came to say farewell to a relative. I've come to pay my last respects to a dear relative. Have you? I've never seen you before. Yeah, I'm Uncle I Henry. I'm your cousin. Oh. Um, I'm from Prague. Before I left, our family lived in Prague. I knew it, you lying wretch! Don't let me see you here again. Good luck then. Good luck then. Oh, uh, oh God. Um, hang on. What the? the <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess we'll fight you then. You're dead. I don't know why he wants to fight us for. Oh, fuck it. Oh. Right. I'm not sure why he, he wanted to actually fight us, but... You're trespassing. Um, should we come back here at night time? Maybe we should. Can I loot? Burial shroud. Let's grab it. No one saw us. All right, let's go back to the charlatan then, and um, I'm not sure if there was like another quest to do then with Peter, but he just he just turned on us for no reason. Okay, charlatan, I met I met his son Peter. I have the Lord Almighty, be quiet! Not here. You don't want everyone to see it, do you? Wait for me at my place. Take care. Wait for the charlatan at his dwelling. Okay, fine. Salari, sausages, meat of all shapes, sizes and flavours. No thanks, maybe later, Hi. darling. Right, we are, um... Hello, dog. Hello, dog. We're back at, we're back at his house now, so let's go in and uh, have a word with him. And give him the shroud in secret. Why is it so secret for? I have the shroud for you. Have you now? Good work. Yes, well, it wasn't easy. I'm sure. That's also why... Take care. That's where he lives. Let's teach him a lesson. He's oh, inside. Fuck. Oh, dear. Fuck. In. Henry, delay them. What? How? There's a reward for you in the trunk. I'll see you in the next go. Is <laughs> a reward for me in the trunk? Uh, what? Where's the trunk? Hold the writers back. Okay, let me just open up this. Okay. Oh, we don't want any of that. Right. Wait for the charlatan at his dwelling. We've done that. What we got here? Let's grab that. Oh, lovely stuff here. Yes, like it. Like it. Grab that. Alchemist Dream. That's it. That's what you want, really. Um, so let's go out then and talk to these guys. All right, lads. Come on. Calm here? down. Calm down. Uh, oh, God. God. Uh, he's not here anymore. Uh, yeah, he's not here anymore. He swindled me, too. I came here to throw his potions in his face, but it looks like he hasn't been home for a while. Nice one, Probably Henry. Probably ran away before his trickery could catch up with him. Bastard. What a bugger, Either eh? Way, he'd better not show his face in this town again. Let's go. Okay, so we have to go to Led Dechko then to meet up with him. Quest, well, that's quest completed. 
<laughs> I was like, I do, I do like these quests. They're fantastic. They're so different. Uh, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.